Welcome back, my friends, to Twisted Stitches. My name is Tammy. How is everybody doing? Today is Wednesday, December 9th, 2021, and we are opening days eight and days nine of the 2021 Christmas Advent from Felicity Yarn Studios featuring the artwork of Georgia O'Keeffe. Now, I did put in a community post yesterday because of doctor's appointments and stuff like that, that I was going to have to do yesterday's and today's together today. So I'm a little behind. Sorry about that. But we have some beautiful yarn to unbox and let's get right into it. Okay. So for day eight, we have Blue Morning Glories. Blue Morning Glories was done in 1935. Her motivation for this painting was her intense passion for the simple things in life, especially in nature. She was frustrated with the pace of life. She would use her paintings to have viewers stop and experience nature's simple beauties, like a still photo of an up-close flower. So let me show you the inspirational artwork. It is absolutely amazing. Look at those colors on there. And I am super excited to open up today's or yesterday's advent. So here it is. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so pretty. What do you guys think? Look at those colors. Oh, they're really pretty. Look at these gorgeous turquoises these blues, almost like a, what would that be, periwinkle. You got a little bit of cream tan color in there, a little bit of gray, almost like gray purple speckling. I don't know if you can tell. It's hard to make it out a little bit, especially because this is my first time seeing it. So I'm trying to see what I see here. We got some golden colors, some yellows, golden yellows. So here is the artwork and here is the yarn. Oh, that looks really good. That looks really good. You can see all those beautiful colors from the artwork in this yarn for sure. Beautiful yarn, love it. Great job, I love it very much. This is gorgeous. So I tried to devise a way to display the previous unboxings, but I don't know if you can quite see it. This was the, this was day seven. This was Mondays. And so I have it from newest to oldest. I don't know if you can see this one, probably not. I will move it out a little bit and let you see it. So here we go. We have days one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to put on day eight. I don't know how well this is going to hold up. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see it all at once. So I'll try to figure something out. <laughs> but I just have it kind of sitting in here kind of precariously. I don't know how that's going to hold up. <laughs> it's a little wooden dowel. So anyway, so that was day eight. Let's move on to today's yarn, day nine, which at first, I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if you can see this. At first, at first it said it was untitled. And I was like, oh no, untitled. So I thought, well, maybe that was the name of the flower. So let me show you the inspirational photo. So right here was the inspirational photo. So I went on the hunt for that flower <laughs> and finally after about, I don't know, 40 minutes or so, I went, I just can't find it. I went through page after page of images of Georgia O'Keeffe's flowers and flower paintings and I was like, oh my goodness, I can't find it and nothing is popping up with the word untitled. So I sent an email over to Zoe at Felicity Yarn Studios and I was like, help, I cannot find this. So she messaged me back and she put in the link to how, where she got uh, the picture from. And she also stated and um, that it now has a name. And let me, and the name, I have to get it, it's in my notes. And the name is called Cup of Silver Ginger. 
okay, whatever. So um, when I went to her link, it was like, oops, sorry, not here anymore. But when I, when I typed in cup of silver ginger, I was able to find the painting. So this is the artwork. Now, I have another picture that I want to show you guys. Now, I haven't opened this, so I have no idea. So in this particular photo, you can see that the colors aren't as dark green or deep green or whatever you want to call it. They're just kind of like, I don't know, more of a muted tone. And then in this particular photo, it's more vibrant. So I am not sure. I believe she's using these colors. So I think we're going to see more of these color greens in it. So I know I'm taking up too much time, right? So today's inspirational artwork is called Cup of Silver Ginger. Cup of Silver Ginger was done in 1939. It's an oil on canvas. These particular paintings, um, I'm learning a few things as I research each painting and I'm getting little bits and pieces. These particular pieces are called precisionism, which means that it's not as abstract. It's more of defined lines like in New York skyscraper uh, artwork and things like that. So this one is defined as precisionism. So... I, that's that's what I found when I looked it up. Yeah, the definition was smooth, sharply defined painting style used in the 20s. So, okay. And it was also part of modernism and the modernism style of painting. So, just a little information for you guys. I know you guys just want to see the yarn, right? So, here it is. Day nine. Woohoo! Sorry about the sprinkle. Oh, it is like the second one, guys. Oh my goodness. Look at these greens. They are awesome. Oh, wow. That is cool. I really like these. So let's take a look. I'm dropping things. So we'll take a look at the inspirational photo. And I wasn't sure if it was going to have more of the whitish tones to it but it doesn't. It has like more greenish tones, like the, the lighter colors is actually kind of like a pale green. It's hard to explain. Very pale green. I don't know if, it, if it's coming up. Let me see if I can move in closer. Can you see that? Is it coming out? It is just like this very pale white green. I don't even know what you would call that, but very, very, very nice. And the speckling, which I love speckling. You guys know that. Gorgeous. So I think I say nailed it on this one for sure. I like this a lot. This is gorgeous. So this is day nine of the 2021 Christmas Advent Felicity Yarn Studio featuring the artwork of George O'Keefe. So I almost didn't catch it. There was a tea in the bag. It's called Moroccan Mint. And definitely green mint is definitely going with the theme today. I love it. So much fun. So much fun. So that was day nine. What do you guys think? So let's pull this out. There we go. And put it on. Doo, 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 doo. There we go. That's the advent so far. One through nine. Hopefully you'll be able to see it as it grows and I don't know how much I'm going to fit on this dowel and I don't know how long the dowel is going to hold up kind of hanging out precariously in here. This is working for now. So here we go. So there you go, guys. Days eight and nine of the Christmas Advent. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, and everything that you do. You guys are the best. You guys rock. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow for day 10 of the 2021 Christmas Advent. Hope you guys have a marvelous day, and I'll be talking to you tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.